Now, I recently got my hands on and did my review of the Dell XPS 15 9510 with that gorgeous 3.5K OLED display. And if you haven't done so, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's really that good. But Dell reached out to me to see if I wanted to check out its bigger brother, the Dell XPS 17 9710. I took delivery of it yesterday and I've been putting it through its paces ever since. I'm blown away by that beautiful 17 inch display. It's really a 17 inch laptop in a 16 inch laptop body. It's really compact. It's really nice, especially with all that screen real estate. Premium design as we've come to expect with the XPS line. We've got the Core i7 11800H processor. We've got the RTX 3060 GPU. That UHD Plus display is an IPS display. It is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to find out more about this laptop in this video. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is the Dell XPS 17 9710 here for 2021. Coming up. And as we take a look at the specs in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Dell is not getting copy approval. They're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this review unit is on loan from Dell. And once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. Pricing starts at $1549.99. Price as tested with my review unit, $2,949.99. For those interested, I'll leave a link in the description below for more information and where you can buy one. And with the specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. And just like the XPS 15 9510 we just took a look at, this has that high-end premium packaging that we've come to expect with the XPS line. After all, this is the flagship of the line. Now inside the box, you get some documentation along with some warranty information, along with an adapter that has a USB-A port as well as an HDMI port, which you will need as we will discuss later on when we talk about the ports. You also get a 130 watt USB-C power adapter and you also get the extension cord as well. Holding the unit for the first time, I'm once again reminded just how much I really like this XPS line. To me, the best looking out of all the flagships among the OEMs with its beautiful all metal chassis and its beautiful finish in that silver with the carbon fiber black deck in the interior. I absolutely love it. And at 2.42 kilograms or 5.34 pounds, this is definitely portable, especially for a 17 inch laptop, really in the body of a 16 inch laptop, not much bigger than a MacBook Pro 16. And to put its size into perspective, here it is with the XPS 15 9510 and the XPS 13 9310. And as you can see, it definitely has a bigger footprint than those two, but not that big when you think about that this is a 17 inch laptop. It's pretty incredible. Okay, let's check out the port selection. We're going to start off on the left side. We get a Kensington lock port and two Thunderbolt 4 ports that do data charge and display out. Moving over to the right side, you get two more Thunderbolt 4 ports that also do data charge and display out. And you get a full-size SD card reader, which I absolutely love. And finally, your 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Notably missing, there's no USB-A, there's no HDMI port. Now those two ports are included in that USB-C adapter they do include in the box. Now to get inside this laptop, what you'll need to do is remove the T5 Torx screws and take your time when removing the bottom cover as it is on pretty tight. You may want to use a guitar pick or something very similar and work your way around. And once you do, you could pop off that bottom plate and you'll see what's inside as far as what is user upgradable. But before we talk about that, you'll notice that vapor chamber cooling. You'll notice the dual fans for cooling. We'll get into the thermals in the full review. 
Now, as far as what's user upgradable, there are two SOTUM slots for you to upgrade the RAM. This supports up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 RAM and running in dual channel mode, of course, which is always good. And the good news is it's the X8 type RAM, not the X16, which is slower. So we got the faster RAM on this one where we got the slower one on the Dell XPS 15. So that's something to keep in mind. So it's good to see the X8. And there are two SSD slots that you can upgrade yourself, which is excellent. This unit can support up to eight terabytes in total of SSD storage, which I really do like. Now, the unit that they gave me has one terabyte of SSD storage. And as you can see from the reads and writes, excellent results. And this has Killer Wi-Fi 6 AX1650 with Bluetooth 5.1. Now that Wi-Fi card is soldered into the motherboard. You won't be able to upgrade it down the road, but so far working really well in terms of the performance. Okay, let's talk about the display. And what we're looking at here is a 17 inch 4K UHD plus display with a resolution of 3840 by 2400. And yes, that means this has a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, which I'm a huge fan of. This is an infinity edge touch display that is super responsive. It's also an HDR 400 display, making this great for watching high dynamic range content. Now this IPS display has some really deep blacks, excellent white points, good contrast, or really excellent contrast, I should say. And it is a very color accurate display with a very low Delta E score of 0.28. This means this is a great choice for the content creator because not only is this a color accurate display, but it also covers the color gamut extremely well. You're looking at 100% sRGB, 99% Adobe RGB, 91% of the DCI P3 wide color gamut and 93% NTSC, making this an excellent choice for content creators who do Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, video editing. Now this has an anti-reflective coating on it, reducing the amount of glare and reflections, and that's really good. And it's also a very bright display. Dell claims this display will get up to 500 nits in terms of brightness. I actually measured 500 on the dot. That means this is a very bright display, good for both indoor and outdoor use. And you'll notice the super tiny micro bezels giving this a sleek and modern look. You gotta love it. And as I mentioned, it is an IPS display. It's an excellent one at that, but it is not an OLED display like you can get as an option on either the XPS 13 or the 15, as you see pictured here. There is no OLED option for the XPS 17. Hopefully next year we will see an option because I'm a big fan of the OLED displays, even though some people criticize it for screen burn-in and so forth. I have not experienced that on either model with the XPS 13 or the 15, and I would love to see that carried over into the XPS 17 with an option for an OLED display. So this is the front facing camera on the Dell XPS 17 9710 here for 2021. It's a 720p webcam, an infrared webcam. That means you can log in with face recognition. How does it look? How does it sound in terms of the internal mics, noise compression and so forth, noise cancellation? I wanna know what you think about it in the comment section below. Is this good for Zoom? Is this good for your work from home needs? Uh, I am curious to know. Now the power button doubles as a fingerprint scanner. It worked well, fast and responsive, setup was easy, and it registered my finger each and every time. It was a good implementation. And for those wondering, yes, you can open the lid with one finger. Now, as far as the keyboard is concerned, I'm really a big fan and really unchanged from last year's 9700 model, which is a good thing because this has really good tactile feedback, good key travel, and is really comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. You don't feel like your fingers will bottom out. Very good keyboard. It also has a multi-stage backlight, which allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment and worked well. And I'm happy to report that the issues that plague last year's touchpads in the XPS 15 and 17s is not present on my model that Dell sent to me. So just keep that in mind. Now, two finger scrolling is buttery smooth and all the gestures are working as you'd expect. Good job on that front. Now, one of the things I really liked about the XPS 17 9700 from last year is its sound with that quad speaker setup. That same setup is present here on the 9710. You get two tweeters on the top and you get two woofers on the bottom for a total of eight watts of power. And I gotta say, fills up a room rather nicely. Good mids, good bass, really good sound, especially for a Windows laptop. Still not quite as good as the MacBook Pro 16, which is the best and the standard by which all laptops should emulate, at least in my opinion. 
Now, I've only had this less than 24 hours, but this unit has the core i7-11800H. That's the 11th gen Tiger Lake processor, the H series processor, eight cores, 16 threads. And as you can see from the results, very good performance, even under heavy load. I noticed it did perform well so far. I will, of course, test the performance, the thermals, how hot it gets, and bring you all those numbers in my upcoming full review. And so far, I'm really impressed with the NVIDIA RTX 3060. GPU. This is a 70 watt GPU that really seems to perform well when it comes to things like video editing, playing video games. We're going to talk all about this and more in that upcoming full review. And as I mentioned earlier, this employs vapor chamber cooling, just like last year's 9700. It's pretty much exactly the same, actually. And it's working well so far. I didn't notice too much thermal throttling, but of course, you will notice some thermal throttling, especially in a thin and light chassis as we have here. Of course, I will bring you all the numbers coming very soon. Now, it also has a 97 watt hour battery, and it takes less than two hours so far for a full charge. That's pretty good considering the large size of the battery. Now, speaking of the battery, last year was plagued by that battery drain issue that was well publicized and i'm not seeing it on this so far i did run a few tests under heavy load i didn't notice any battery drain issue on this and from the reports that i've read especially from notebookcheck.com they say they don't have it either in, the, in terms of their testing so looks like this might have been remedied again i don't know until i do my further testing to give you a long-term result and so far, my initial battery test that I did, I got about seven and a half hours on a single charge, which is to be expected on a type of laptop that this is, running all this kind of power with that discrete RTX 3060 GPU, with that Core i7 and the heat that it does generate and the 4K plus UHD plus display that it has. So seven and a half hours, I'll take it any day, especially with this power that it packs under the hood. All right, 24 hours in with the Dell XPS 17 9710. And I got to say, I'm once again blown away by this laptop. I absolutely love the design, love the display, love the screen real estate that you get with a 17 inch laptop, but you don't sacrifice in terms of the size and the weight. This is all packed into a pretty much 16 inch laptop size, making it pretty easy to take with you on the go. And I love that. Now, as far as that gorgeous design, it's all metal. It's beautiful. I love the look especially with that carbon fiber interior although you will notice the fingerprints uh, if you use it a lot so that is something you have to keep in mind now i like the 16 to 10 aspect ratio the good performance out of that core i7 the rtx 3060 on this laptop and by the way i don't think you need a core i9 core i7 just like the xps 15 is what i would recommend impressive speakers those quad speakers sound really good filling up the room rather nicely and i didn't notice any of the battery drain issues that plagued last year's model when it was under heavy load again i still need to do further testing negatives here no webcam shutter and there's no usb a or hdmi port although they give you an adapter with those ports included in the box so far an excellent choice ladies and gentlemen i have a lot of testing to do and i will bring you my full review coming very soon but so far i'm absolutely loving this laptop and it is definitely in the running for the laptop of the year So what do you think about this bad boy, the XPS 17 9710, beautiful all metal design. You got that carbon fiber deck in the, in the interior, a major fingerprint magnet, so you will be wiping it down. Not quite as bad though as previous iterations. Gorgeous 17 inch UHD plus display, that's 3840 by 2400. Yes, that is a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. You'd see more on the display, you'll do less scrolling when it comes to web browsing. Good performance so far to that core i7. 11800H, that eight core, 16 thread processor. We've got the NVIDIA RTX 3060 GPU. It's all coming together looking good so far. Vapor chamber cooling. It does throttle a little bit, but I didn't see major throttling, so I'm seeing good performance. About seven and a half hours of battery life on a single charge in my initial testing. Build quality looks good. I don't have any of the issues with the trackpad that plagued last year's model, and I haven't noticed any power drain under heavy load. That seems to have been remedied so far. Again, I need to do further testing. 
Now, it starts at around $1,500 or so, dollars, but you really want to deck it out. This is a premium flagship. Price is tested close to $3,000 with my review unit. You're getting that UHD Plus display. You're getting the Core i7. I don't think you need the Core i9. Check out my video on that Core i9, which I did get with my Dell XPS 15 9510. Again, link in the description below. Really good. Everything you'd want in a great laptop to do video editing, color grading. It's a color accurate display. It also covers the color gamut really well. So it's a great content creator's laptop. You can game on this as I showed you some of the numbers already. You can get some good performance with the multi-core, single core. Again, I got a lot more to do with this laptop. I will be doing a live stream very soon soon on this, so get your questions ready as we will go live with the XPS 17 9710. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.